Dear America, we should always stand tall and strong. We should know everybody around us should be treated equally. My America is my family. My America is my home. My president should have an open heart and mind. My America will always be unique. I am Mexican and I am American. Stronger together. My president should do what's right for our country. Stand up for your freedom. You should know that my America does not accept alternative facts. My America is a place of freedom. My America is my world. Dear America, poetry is life. Poetry enriches us with feeling, emotion, and love. Well, when you think about uh, the arts, you think about the human body. Uh, and when I think about social justice, I think about um, how that is the heart because it's the reason why we create um, and it's to see ourselves in this world. It's to challenge the notions um, and the portrayals of black and brown bodies in the media, but it's also to claim that space and say we are here, we have been here, and we have conquered. How do you gather communities? How do you open open the doors and say, you know, everyone is welcome here and, and the young people can say anything they want. How do, we, how do we connect the young people to the community? How do we connect the artists to the young people? So there's all, all of these ways that we work at, at building that connection. So Ellen has known me uh, since I had braces, uh, which is... <laughs> it's, it does feel like a long time. I'm like, hey, Hazel and I haven't known each other for at least over a decade. Mm -hmm. Not everyone who was your former teacher would treat you like a colleague. I distinctly remember her being that like powerful force in that image or that representation of what poetry was supposed to be outside of the classroom. A close friend of, of both of ours, um, Adarsalis Girmai, who was her poetry teaching artist at DY Prep, Ada said, her voice is so unique. This is a voice we're gonna hear over and over again. I feel like that's so powerful to have someone else see you. It feels super powerful to me. It really um, created this fire within me that allowed me to believe in myself. To recognize my poetry as something more than just a story about me. Um, it was a story about the Bronx. It was a story about youth. It was a story about resilience. Oftentimes when folks think about artists, they think about individuals. Um, and what social justice does uh, is invite more people to the art form. Um, so it definitely bridges community, it creates community, and it sustains community. Social justice has been infused in the work from the time I started, I've been at DreamYard for 13 years. And it was always about who you are and where you come from. So thinking about identity as power. How do you gather all the parts of yourself and tell the truth about them? Students get the chance to, to be honest about who they are and dialogue with people. I think that's the other part where I keep thinking about social justice. How do we have these conversations across communities? and? here in the Bronx, but how do we have them outside of the Bronx? We've been doing some international partnerships. I have this idea about a place, then I go to that place. It, it completely explodes this idea that I had. And that, I feel like there are, there are stereotypes about all kinds of different places and people. So the more you can break those down and the more you can say, it's not true, stereotypes are false, they don't exist. I feel like that's what DreamYard does. It, it gives a space for people to have that conversation.